<laughs> Hi and welcome to Hooked for Life with Mary Beth Temple. In this video I want to talk about doing the half double crochet in the third bar, sometimes written as half double crochet in the horizontal bar, and what you get when you do that is the top of the stitch sort of folds over away from the side you're working on and you get this little horizontal ridge and if you're working on say a scrap yarn scarf project like I am here and to get more information on that please check out the blog which is linked in the description um, but it's a stitch you see in a lot of patterns a lot of designers use it and I like it for this scarf in particular but there's all kinds of different ways to to use it. So let's jump right in. I have done one row of foundation half double crochet. Uh, you don't have to use foundation half double crochet. You can do it on any kind of a half double crochet row. Uh, but if you want to learn how to do the foundation half double crochet, we do have a video on that. In any case, um, I'm going to uh, presume that the turning chain doesn't count. Again, this is just a swatch, not a pattern. So I'm going to yarn over, and instead of working in the top of the stitch like I normally would, I'm going to look for the horizontal bar, the bar that goes side to side, sometimes called the third bar. And instead of going in that stitch, I'm going to bring the hook from the bottom to the top under just that horizontal bar. Yarn over and pull it through. Three loops on my hook, one, two, three, yarn over, pull through three, and that finishes my half double crochet. Moving on to the next stitch, I'm going to skip the top. I'm going to yarn over and bring that hook bottom to top under that horizontal bar in the front, and then finish the stitch. Yarn over and draw it through, yarn over, draw through three. Now you may notice, because you are a clever crocheter, that the way you make the stitch hasn't changed at all. The only thing that has changed is the placement. One more time, yarn over, bring that hook bottom to top under that horizontal or third bar, and then yarn over, draw through three. So, uh, that's what's going on here, and this is what it looks like on the other side, and there is that ridge that's popping up. So let me grab a different sample and show you a little more closely. Stand by. Or if you're finished watching, please subscribe to the channel on your way out. I would appreciate you, but hold on and I'll show you a better sample. So here is a sample in which I have worked several rows of that half double crochet in the third bar, and I have done each row in a different color, like I did on the scrap yarn scarf, to show how the whole thing works. So you can see what happens, as I mentioned earlier, when you're stitching the top of the stitch where you would normally have placed the stitch, it sort of rolls away from you and creates that horizontal ridge. And what happens on something like this, where I'm changing colors every row, is you get a really dense color pattern. Now the other thing that's going on, there's two other things I want to talk about. One is because I'm working in rows, I'm working back and forth, I'm getting ridges every other row, but I'm also getting ridges every other row on the other side. So the color work is not going to be identical on both sides, but the technical aspect of the stitching will be the same on both sides. The other thing I wanted to talk about, and again, it's slightly different in this super bulky yarn than it is in my pretty fingering weight sock yarn scrap scarf that I was showing you. This is uh, pretty elastic. If you were to do a garment like this, maybe doing the pieces side to side so you got this vertical rib, it's going to be pretty stretchy, which means sizing is going to be a breeze. So that's all there is to the half double crochet in the horizontal or third bar. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe or follow me on any other social media and I'll see you again real soon. Bye bye.